Now, we can do a bit of live demo. We'll see how this goes, because usually a live demo is a dangerous thing to do in the presentation. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's hatchet.io slash demo. Okay, hopefully we should start to see. So someone's joined, some people are joining the app, so people are opening the page. Um, and this should be loading. So first in, raise your hand. Uh, yep, straight up. Alright, so this is like this is all happening kind of using those exact same subscribe publisher thing. So you guys are all publishing and this page is subscribing. You'll see at the bottom of your page is an event log. Um, it's you know, kind of just been hacked in there. It should be showing everyone who's joining and kind of the events that are happening. Any you do the you know, participate in the poll of which you know which kind of JavaScript or CopyScript. You know, what's your flavor? Um, and and this is all, so the other thing to know is like this is all just running on you know, like 3G, like I'm just tethering off my phone. So these are coming through. Hopefully when you're pushing them, it's coming, I've seen it, it's come up really quickly. Uh, so yeah, so that's, yeah, so that's, that's so I can also, um, you know, if I'm not liking how this poll's going at the moment, which I am liking, so I'll <laughs> But if I wanted to, I could reset the poll and maybe like all these screens. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Well, it's not well, but I can do that again. Um, I don't think comments could go with this battle, so I'll um, Alright, so Hatchet.io, I'll put up. Um, Put up a website. This is just a hatchet that I really kind of explains a little bit about, um, and and kind of the uh, just examples that you just saw. Down here um, uh, is kind of a getting started thing. And so this is kind of just a, a way for managing your tokens. So API of hatchet.io is where everyone's connecting to it. I mean, this is just a shared hosting. It's running off a micro instance on Amazon. So after about um, I think it should be able to take about 3,000 simultaneous connections on a micro instance. Um, uh, but you know, the idea of the hatchet would be to spread it. You know, if you want more than that, you can spread it out across multiple servers. So if you wanted to just go home like today and um, do a bit of demo with this, um, you could create a channel. So I could create an LJS channel. Um, and you get given these kind of long tokens for your publisher and subscriber. Here's an API token that allows you to kind of do things on this page. So this is basically your password and you want to keep that kind of top secret. Um, and so down here I can view those tokens um, again. So if I can up to S, basically viewing them. So you can constantly see. Uh, so this just shows as well what permissions these tokens have. So these ones by default have access to all events. So when you guys were clicking um, answering the poll, that was an answer poll event um, that occurred. There was also kind of a user identifier one, which was when you entered in your Twitter name. So what you can actually do is um, I wanted to say MelJS. On the MelJS channel, I want to create a new publisher token that only has access to user um, poll and you know, user sign up, let's say, or something like that. You can do that. Um, and so they now have those permissions in both recently this should pop up. So this token, so this this is important when you're doing front end, um, so your front end web apps is you want to be able to re restrict the access that people have to your channel because you don't want, you know, you might have a different token in different places and you can always revoke them later down the track. So um, that's a publisher's. So it's a bit repetitive this form, but basically um, you can uh, create subscribe tokens and remove them, and then you can remove the whole channel if you want it done. Um, so you know, I'm looking for people to kind of contribute and, and kind of help with this um, to get it kind of going. Um, the quickest way to actually get started with this is I've created an Amazon and my image. Um, and for people who, yeah, basically with Amazon um, AMI images, it's basically not like an ISO image that's pre-packaged with Hatchet on it. So you can search um, Amazon kind of store, download, um, create a Hatchet instance. Um, 
and get going with it like in a few minutes. And all the all the description for this is actually on the GitHub page. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that's well. Actually, that's if you. Um, yes. So, if you want to, like, tomorrow in your workplace, like, my idea is that hopefully people have like a real-time server in their workplace or on their servers um, that can like fuel, like fuel their real-time communication. Um, usually, real like usually with real-time things at the moment, they're being kind of supplementary tasks that you have on the side. So you can actually start up one of these hatchet servers um, and have it there and. And have it like tomorrow and then kind of start start using it. And I guess it's, it's not just um, something to know about is once you do create a hatchet so that you can put the URL in the VSC and use this. Anyway, catch up with me more after the talk. Um, so um, uh, So this is exciting. Right? I think <laughs> um, it's a like it's, it's very different to the tr yeah, traditional model of the web, yeah. and I think that um, doing real time is actually going to be like a big part of, of the web going forward. It is um, really, yeah, that's <laughs> um, is we're doing, uh, like we're trying to put together like a dashboard of the work on it. We just bought a big screen TV, and we're going to, you know, as users sign up, have um, them popping up here. And uh, so this isn't implemented yet, but we've got kind of rough version of that, which is here. So at the moment, like while I've been giving this presentation, there's been 10 app installs, there's been a sign up. Um, so this is in the draft pick application. So I haven't, I just installed it from the app store, so if I click that, it should be good to let them, you know, that updates as well. So, um, so we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> So this is also um, the kind of idea of like so real time is also to it's kind of like um, events in Node um, JavaScript like event emitting um, and it allows you to kind of build modular apps. You know, I think the the idea of having you know your one web app that um, sends emails in its you know format sends push notifications does um, analytics or does like does everything in one is you know, kind of needs to change. You're building modular or components. You can use this kind of web sockets or, or sockets in general just to connect your apps and send events. So we use Hatchet to communicate service to servers as well. So um, from traffic, we send e we send emails to another kind of application that um, so we send yeah we send so like socket events to another application that sends the emails. We could use HTTP requests, but we don't. It's just kind of send and forget. Like send an email, don't care if you can do it or not. Just Send it to maybe it's a bit very easy. We send all our analytics, so we communicate our analytics out, and anyone who wants to listen can listen. So you could build something that saves that to a database, you could build something that shows it on the screen. The important part is that nothing needs to know about something else. You, as a publisher, just send out the information. You want to add a new item, you just hook into it. The main source doesn't need to know about it. Amazon and available. So there's other services just to throw it out there that do this. So PubNub is um, a really good website. I didn't use it um, myself, but it's got a, a large library of code that integrates with all kinds of things. Um, it gets a bit pricey, and um, that's quite a good solution for enterprise if you want to do um, kind of large scale um, uh, implementation. That being said, we use um, we roll our own patch it and that does good. Um, Pusher is another one. And so basically we're now like, you know, the web is evolving. This is what I've been trying, just trying to say. So I really want to kind of inspire this, you know, thought of real time. Uh, the web is evolving and I think that um, we really need to start thinking real time. Um, sorry, this is not going to be And basically, on, you know, just to have fun, you know, visit the Hatch.io website, the, the, the GitHub repo. Check out the Amazon um, AMI image uh, and just kind of experiment, like maybe just in an app tomorrow or something, just add some real time and see, you know, see how it goes. And you know, maybe people will be impressed with my office. Um, share this exciting. Real time comp is like, uh, I, I recommend going to this website, basically. 
um, if you want to know more, uh, put it here. Um, it's in the US, um, probably later in the year. This is the 2011, so the website's 2011.realtime.com. The videos here, I've just been watching these last few days, um, and they're um, really interesting things to look at um, and kind of absorb. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Thanks. <laughs>